The most challenging question today is how to test Operational Intelligent Electronic Devices, in short, IEDs. The standard IEC 61850 describes test requirements, possibilities, and guidelines that have to be put into practice. However, testing IEDs has become more and more complex due to the huge variety of testing methods described in the standard. The test module IEC 61850 Client Server tests the function of an IED with a focus on its communication. Like any other test module of Test Universe, you can include the IEC 61850 Client Server module in Control Center documents. In this tutorial, you will learn how to import the data model of an IED and how to use this information for protection testing as well as testing client-server communication. The module consists of several views. The test view shows the states used for the test. You can adjust the test to your needs by adding new states. The setting for each state can be modified within the detail view. In the assessment view, the reaction of the IED can be assessed automatically. In addition to the test object and the hardware configuration, which is common to all test modules within Test Universe, the client server module needs information about the communication according to the IEC 61850 standard. This information can be loaded using the protocol configuration. Within IEC 61850 compliance substations, all data is stored in an SCL file. This abbreviation stands for Substation Configuration Language. By loading the SCL file, you can utilize the data model and other information like the configured reports for your test. We start by defining the state called Set IED. The IEC 61850 Client Server Module acts as a client that directly communicates with an IED working as the server. Thus, the module can access the entire data model of an IED for protection testing purposes. In the detail view, we prepare the IED for the test by setting the mode of the logical node or logical device we want to test. The standard describes several modes. On, on blocked, Test, Test Blocked, and Off. Using the mode Test ensures that the control center is aware that the IED is currently being tested. Furthermore, the IED can be adjusted so that it accepts goose messages and sampled values streams with activated simulation bit. An IED can use so-called reports to inform the control center about an occurring event. These reports are triggered by predefined trigger events. The information within a report is grouped in so-called data sets. To be able to access a report during the test, you have to activate a report in the state set IED. Similar to the state set IED, there is a state reset IED at the end of the test procedure. Use this state to ensure that the IED is set back to its original condition after the test. For a better orientation, you can retrieve the state of the IED before starting the test. Furthermore, the state Reset IED ensures that reports enabled in the state Set IED are automatically disabled at the end of the test. In the next steps, we want to define different tests to assess the reaction of the IED. Therefore, we first delete the predefined states and insert a new one named Measurement. Now we can specify the current and voltage outputs.
The duration of the state is one second. This duration must not be too short, as client-server communication operates in a range of 100 milliseconds to one second. In the second tab, Client-Server Response, we define the expected response of the IED. There are three options to select from. In this example, we will use Data Attribute Subset. This mode allows us to assess the data within the data model of the IED by polling. You can specify which data you want to supervise, for example, information about the protective functions, status information, settings, events, or measured values. For this example, we want to analyze the current and voltage values measured by the IED. In the next step, we configure a fault state to assess the behavior of the IED in terms of client-server communication. We want to test whether a report is sent out as a reaction on the fault and whether the trip signal in the report is properly set to true. First, we insert a new state with the name fault and define the fault currents and voltages. In the tab Client Server Response, there are two possibilities to test reports. With the first option, Report, you can assess the receipt of a report. With Report and Dataset, you can additionally evaluate the information in the report. For this tutorial, we choose the option Report and Dataset. Remember that only reports that have been activated previously in the state Set IED can be assessed. Choose the report that has been activated in the state set IED. You can define a trigger to end the state before the time of the state has run out. You can either choose a change in the data model or a change in data set of the report to be the stop condition. In our example, we select the receipt of a report as the trigger. In the next step, we want to set up the automatic assessment using the assessment view of the module. First, we configure the assessment for the state measurement. We want to test whether the absolute value of the current matches the current we output during the state. Please note that the measured values in the data model of an IED are given in primary values. Next, we want to assess whether a report is sent out by the IED in reaction to the fault event, we insert a new assessment. Select the report from the Client Server Response tab of the fault state. The module automatically sets the parameter expected to receipt. We also want to assess whether the trip information in the report is correct. We insert a new assessment for the fault state. and select the parameter up general. We expect that the state of the trip signal is true. Now we can start the test. The results of the test are automatically generated and added to the report. In addition to that, the single test steps and the response of the IED in terms of client-server communication are recorded in the client-server monitor. You can add all or some of the reactions to your report.